special lotion for your head to get that glisten? Uh, no, it's just my fucking natural sexy skin moisturizer, but I use that in my beard. For my beard all shiny. Uh, <laughs> the other half is like eating house. This is the chilling house. Chilling. <laughs> It's like a former brewery area, so uh, in the old days they were doing a, a lot of beer here, so it was very famous for that. And uh, now you've got the river walk here coming up, so this is like a little bit like the end station if you take the river boat. And if you walk down here, you get down to the down, downtown river walk area. It's very old industrial. Yeah. Eight, nine, ten days. He did not have one single healthy thing. Not one thing. Hamburgers, fries, fries. Pasta, a lot of pasta alfredo. Yeah. Peel that of the damn Yeah, it shows up and we're like, didn't expect that. <laughs> <laughs> Bacon, cheese sandwich. Mmm. It's better than milk. What it is, it's huge. Yeah, man. I'm a grown boy. <laughs> Breakfast was delicious after we, uh, Twisted their arms and made them bust out steaks for us. <laughs> On the way to the Alamo, man. Yeah? We are about to go see the Alamo. He showed us like the importance of uh, the do or die mentality. That if you really believe in something. Um, even if you die, you're going to succeed. You know, I think it says a lot about these men who uh, stood here 200 years ago and uh, fought to the death. They knew, they all volunteered, they weren't, first, they weren't forced to be here, but they, they believed in something strong enough that they would stand and fight for it and, and die for it. Yeah. And um, you know, I think they did it for a greater cause than just yeah. themselves. They did it so their, friend, you know, their family, their children could uh, have the freedoms and liberty that they wanted. Yeah, and also make uh, people uh, who are, you know, sending reinforcement. So the reinforcement actually came to uh, liberate. Uh, so, and their battle was uh, pivotal to make that uh, reinforcement Absolutely. happen. They, didn't, they, didn't, they did not die in vain. Yeah, yeah. You know, six weeks later, they won the war. Yeah, yeah. got their independence and their freedom. First impression, I mean, well, it's my first time being here too, so um, it was, okay. I didn't really know everything about the Alamo, so it was really cool hearing it from, from Branch and then going through the tour, just learning all the background history on it, and, um, and then seeing all the stuff that they used in the battle and stuff, it was really, really cool. We got some steaks, salmon, but we're training legs. We're, we're training legs, so we might need to go with something light on the on the gut. Definitely something light. Maybe like some fish. Yeah, this is a pre-workout for the for the leg day. Like apparently, everyone in the team is uh, doing legs today. So uh, I think 
they all fired up because of the stories at the Alamo and uh, now they're gonna see like who's the last man standing so I don't know I think she forgot it that's good though you're cheering your neighbors Another restaurant disaster. <laughs> Every fucking time, man. I don't know. Maybe I gotta get bigger. I don't know what the fucking problem is. <laughs> I can't get bigger because my food never comes. So now you guys wonder. Now you guys can see this is real life. I don't make this up. And it still doesn't work. I little. I hope you guys feel bad for me. calves and then uh, I always do hamstrings first before legs. It just kind of, I've always wanted bigger hamstrings than my quads so I'll do hamstrings and then I'll always get my quads second after. Yep, come on, drive. Yep. Good. busting their butts and uh, gives you hope and it motivates you, you know, because you know what? Sports gonna be good hands. So the next generation's carrying the flag and bearing that standard. And um, I think, uh, like I said, it doesn't matter if it was guys from the 80s and 90s, and even now in the 20, 20s, um, it's the same, it's that same inner core values that's just carried on, passed on from one generation to the next. This guy put these pants on after leg day. It was gas yeah, jeans. They're stretchy, man. <laughs> Did you put them on like? You try them were on. you on the bed like <laughs> maneuvering yourself? Or, like, I wouldn't be able to put those on, bro. These are the only jeans that fit me. 
And I don't have the giant, the, the biggest legs in the world either, so. He doesn't have the biggest legs in the world. It's a lot more volume than I'm used to. But really? Yeah. <clears throat> like, I usually do like, like one, maybe two, like top working sets. The six plates was a work set. Yeah. And then the, the six plates and a quarter was a work set. That's two work sets. Yeah. Before that, I don't remember what we did. I don't even count it. No, I don't, I don't count it. So we did two work sets there. Yeah. And then on the leg press, we did really Whoa. one working set. For us, you know, more and more. So, like, the whole purpose of doing this is that we can do content and we can, you know, do fun stuff together. And sometimes it's more fun than other times, if you ask him. But, uh, you know, at least we, we are, you know, uh, doing stuff and we are exposing our stuff, you know, for ourselves for good stuff and you know whatever can happen. And, uh, I think that's like super important. Yeah, so vacation yeah. with family. Yeah, the, the only thing is uh, business is because we want to have the expense written on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, uh, but the rest is like you know this is uh, meant for us to you know have fun. With, you know. No date. Eighteen thirty six is correct, but. 11. Uh, no. Uh, no. March, March. No. Uh, March 6th. Correct. Yep. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>